So hello everyone, welcome again to your PDA education. So I'm going to interact with students who is basically got selection in foreign universities, basically USA. So today with me, I have Amisha. So Amisha got uh, seven offers from USA and Canada. Some are for masters and others are for uh, basically direct PhD. So I'm going to interact with her. I will ask her each and every question, how she applied. Hope this information is helpful for you. So first of all, uh, Amisha, thank you very much to be on your PDA and many, many congratulations to you. You got seven offers. That is very good thing. So uh, Amisha, like, first of all, I want to know a little bit about you. Can you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, hi. So I am basically from Indore, which is in Madhya Pradesh, and I completed my undergraduate studies from Michael Bhopal. So my program was BS in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. It was a four-year program. And, uh, my college is basically from a research background. So the uh, the projects we had in our final year were more of uh, like a thesis kind of thing. Okay. So, Amisha, I just want to know more information from your side. What was your BTEC percentage? So like my BS uh, CPI right now is 8.59 and uh, the result of my last semester is yet to come. Okay. So, did by any chance, did you write this GATE exam or not yet? Yeah, I gave it in my third year in electrical and communications engineering. And I okay, got a so, rank of around 8,000. Okay. So, uh, when did you decide to uh, write this GRE exam? Um, it was in August. Okay. Uh, around 10th August. Okay. So, uh, can you tell us briefly, like, what are the deadlines to apply for PhD as well as MS in USA? Yeah, so basically for PhD, uh, people are expected to apply before around six months because if you're applying for fall, you should be like communicating with the person you want to apply and of starting from November or October. And same for MS, like uh, the deadline for applications for early admit are December. And but uh, like uh, they are December, but for early admission decisions, people apply in November or October. Okay, so let us say anyone wants to go to US for PhD admission. So what test score they need before applying for PhD? Uh, like uh, in GRE or TOEFL, whatever they give, uh, basic proficiency is required. More than scores, they look at if you have any publication or not, or like... Uh, if, the, if your resume matches the work the area they are interested in for a person in that position. Okay, so can you tell me about your uh, GRE and uh, TOEFL, whatever proficiency test you gave, what was your score in that? I gave GRE, I got a score of 321 and then I gave IELTS instead of TOEFL, so I got the 7.5 Okay, 7.5 and 321. So, uh, do you think like your GRE score helps you in getting PhD position, direct PhD position in US? I don't think GRE score matters, matters that much in PhD, but for MS, it obviously matters. Right? They didn't care okay. much about my GRE score to begin with. Okay, so uh, sorry, like before I continue this thing, so can you tell me uh, in which universities you got selection, in which courses? Yeah, so uh, in Purdue uh, Polytechnic, I got into MSc program and uh, I got a PhD offer at Virginia Tech in the Biosystems Engineering Department. And uh, like in uh, Arizona State University, I got MSCS. Okay. Okay. And in University of South Florida, I got MSCS at uh, University of Illinois Chicago and UIC. Both I uh, like IIT Chicago and UIC. I got MSCS. 
so that are actually very prestigious universities in usa so you are going to uh, join ut dallas right yeah. okay so uh, how much scholarship you are getting over there i think it's fully funded phd program yeah. right yeah. so basically they are covering my tuition fee and uh, mm-hmm. i got the research assistant position and i'll get a stipend of around 2000 dollars per month okay so it's research assistant position so i think research assistant is very good because you don't have to teach or do anything you just have to do research and that is very good thing uh, okay so i have one question like many students who are basically pursuing btech they think like in abroad direct phd is not possible so uh, what do you think like where you made difference because many students after mtech also they are not able to get fully funded positions but you got just after btech so what do you think where you make the difference uh, i think my program is not exactly btech my program is bs from i think bhopal so maybe there there is a difference and like uh, i applied early and uh, if one does not have a published a paper or something or maybe a review article then maybe they are a bit behind the one so they so maybe and i am emailed a lot of professors and i got a response from only some of them so like one has to keep mailing and then they get a response okay so i think this is a message for all the students like if you want to pursue direct phd in abroad you just have to publish something you have to make a profile yeah keep mailing the professor keep mailing the professor that is very very important so that is what i did when i was applying for phd and another thing for direct phd student i think cgpa also matters so you have 8.5 uh, right 8.5 8.5 main so that also matters if you have good cgpa then you will get an edge over the other students so that is very good so uh, why you choose us i mean like why not europe or why didn't you choose from india uh, for phd uh, in india first of all you have to study a lot for gate and like uh, you have to get a extremely good rank to get the top iit and like people okay. take uh, take some time off after college and prepare for the exam so i did not want to like waste one year preparing for an exam and like mm-hmm. in europe although the phd gets over in short time but the work permit and job opportunities i feel are more in us as compared to europe because usually people come back from europe after phd and like take a teaching position in india itself so you did lot of research so actually yeah it's a valid point i must say like in india a uh, competition is very very high and mm-hmm. if you are applying for us i personally believe in us getting phd position is very very easy because uh, one thing is like you need some something in your profile like you have some review paper you are saying in bachelors that is helpful and uh, sometimes there is no technical interview i think in your case there is no technical interview right in us so, there was an interview for the Like, I mean, like uh, there they ask some technical yeah, question, yeah, or yeah. it is like uh, okay. three people from the lab they ask me about the field where I was applying, and after that. Okay, I myself gave three interviews in US, but uh, nothing is technical. They just ask why you want to join PhD, but mostly it is not there. I think for direct PhD option, uh, it is there. uh okay that's good like us has lot of job opportunities competition is not like uh, whatever we have in india uh so my other question is why not ms why direct phd uh, i was not sure if i wanted to do a job right away like if i do a phd i would have an option of teaching in the future and like i could decide over the course of time if i want to do a job or go into education sector okay that's good but you have lot of good offers in ms so in in ms i what do you think like in ms getting admissions are easy than phd or it's same i think same? in cs there is a lot of competition in ms okay and uh, like yeah, because uh, and everyone is aiming for the top in ms like, uh, like uh, the degree of phd is more valuable than ms okay. 
Okay, and one more thing I want to know about your interview. Actually, in interview, uh, how it goes, what professor asks you, can you briefly tell about that? Yeah. So basically, the area I was interested in working in was machine learning and hardware. So they, uh, so the department where I'll be working in is computer engineering. So they wanted to know if I know hardware basics. I know the courses. I am familiar with the courses people learn in electronics. VLSI design and all that, and like uh, if I ha- if I am like well equipped in machine learning background, then how good are my coding skills? Okay, so you have interview only with one professor, or there is whole graduate committee which are asking you questions? Actually, uh, there were people from the lab, students in third year or fourth year of the year, so they asked. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, in the last, I would say like many, many congratulations to you, Amisha, and welcome to US. I am very sure like you will like Texas very much. There are lot of opportunities over there. There are lot of industries. California is very nearby, and I hope you enjoy your journey over there. And all the very best from the your Pedia team. Thank you for having here. Thank you. Thank you.